a lovely creature to the British countryside. If you appreciate the grace and poetry of motion of the butterfly, you'll be fascinated by the ancient sport of kite flying. So let's introduce a man who kills two birds with one stone, who goes fishing and kite flying at the same time, practicing, in fact, the Eskimo art of kite fishing. The man who never fails to astonish local anglers at Worthing Pier is Canadian Alan Harvey, who first learnt to fly kites on the prairie, even on horseback. If you're an expert, you'll notice the kite Alan uses is hexagonal, it's made of rayon, and it has a tail length nine times the diagonal. Ordinary fishermen on the pier have to wind in their lines long before the tide goes out. But Alan, who when he's not fishing is a singer with a famous maple leaf four, can trail his hook over a quarter of a mile away. Providing the winds are right, the kite can remain almost stationary for long periods and actually works, although a net has to be used to haul the catch in. The only snag with this method is that you can't talk about the one that got away. That would be a tall as well as a very fishy story. The logical development of the